May God bless you all. Today, I sent a message from Thomas Aquinas to a number of people. And this message ran like this. Three things are necessary for the salvation of man. To know what he ought to believe, to know what he ought to desire, and to know what he ought to do. A couple who are evangelicals and very dear friends and sister and brothers in Christ to me, sent me a message, rather an immediate message. And uh, this message from taken, was taken from the letter to the Romans, chapter 10, verses 9 to 10. And it ran like this. Because if you confess with your lips that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For man believes with his heart, and so is justified, and he confesses with his lips, and so is saved. How deep are these three things according to Thomas Aquinas? First of all, the salvation of man is to know what he ought to believe. And what is it that he ought to believe? That Jesus is Lord. And to know what he ought to desire. And the quotation ran, runs, that God raise him from the dead. And the third part, to know what he ought to do. For man believes with his heart, and so is justified, and he confesses with his lips, and so is saved, that Jesus is Lord, and that God raised him from the dead. How profound is this quotation from the letter to the Romans? How profound is what St. Thomas Aquinas said this morning? I came to realize the beauty of spiritual ecumenism, that the Catholic Church really under the guidance of the Holy Spirit promotes. This confession thing brought me to see it in a biblical context. In fact, I went to Proverbs chapter 28 verse 13. He who conceals his transgressions will not prosper but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. In Sirach 22, how much better it is to reprove than to stay angry, and the one who confesses his fault will be kept from loss. And then 1 John 2.23, no one who denies the Son has the Father, he who confesses the Son has the Father also. And John 1.4, 2 and 15. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit which confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. How beautiful, my dear brothers and sisters, to see that this confession of Jesus as Lord and tells us to confess our sins and tells us to confess our faults and when we see and when we confess our faults then we can accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior then in the light of Jesus when we say Jesus is my Lord sin has no more power in our lives how right was St. Thomas Aquinas when he said three things are necessary for the salvation of man. To know what he ought to believe, Jesus is Lord. To know what he ought to desire, that God raised him from the dead. And to know what he ought to do. For man believes with his heart and so is justified. And he confesses with his lips and so is saved. Father God, we want to thank you for the power of your word. Help us today to understand that if we really confess with our lips that Jesus is Lord, that you raised him from the dead, and that is our also desire to be raised from the dead, 
and also that uh, in raising us from the dead you will give us eternal life and also father that you will justify us and conf and also you will give us the power to believe in you father you will give us eternal life help us father god in jesus name in jesus blood and the holy spirit to really believe with our hearts that Jesus is our Savior and in view of this let us renounce sin let us convert let us ask you forgiveness for our sins let us father in view of Jesus love for us we embrace you as our father God and we follow you wherever you take us by the Holy Spirit I ask this Father in Jesus' name, in Jesus' blood, in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And my dear brothers and sisters, I encourage you that if you find yourself in front of God, away from God, go and ask God forgiveness. Go and receive the sacrament of penance and reconciliation. And through Jesus in the presence of the priest who represents Jesus and the community from which you have departed from your sin Jesus and the person of the priest will welcome you into the sheepfold of God and in that way you continue to experience the eternal fruits of salvation that God has earned for you on the cross and the person of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior and may God Almighty bless you and protect you and give you peace and strength wherever you are wherever you will be in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen